You've downloaded a RAW file, but you're not sure what to do next. In this video, we look at three ways to open and extract from it using Windows. Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. In our recent tutorial featuring multi-button mice, we downloaded driver software in RAW format. We had no choice in the matter, as this was the only format offered. Yet Windows 10 is unable to natively handle RAW files, and the More Apps link fails to offer a useful option. We therefore need to look to third-party solutions to access the content of the file. This tutorial will look at three different methods for handling RAW files. The first is a web-based solution, ideal for one-off conversions of small file types. The second is a portable application, which can be temporarily installed on a local computer and used without an internet connection, and also easily deleted from the system without trace after use. The third method is a fully installed solution, which integrates closely with the file system and is available via the right-click context menu in File Explorer. If you're unfamiliar with a RAW file, it's essentially a compressed container which can be opened to reveal even more files. This means that a single file can be downloaded from the internet, then unpacked into multiple smaller files. This is very similar to the more familiar zip file, with a crucial distinction being that zip files are supported and handled natively under Windows, whilst RAW files are not, and therefore require additional third-party support. Our first method uses a web-based solution provided by cloudconvert.com at the link shown on screen now and in the written description accompanying this video. We click Select Files and are taken to the File Selection dialog, where we navigate to our downloaded RAW file, in this example, the mouse driver software from our recent tutorial. We click Open and our mouse driver software RAW file is now ready for conversion. We click Select Format and are offered a selection of conversion options. We want to extract the files, so clicking Extract is the natural choice here, although note that clicking Zip would have exactly the same effect as multiple files are returned to us as a zip file. The single RAW file from our computer is uploaded and processed. At the end of the process, three files have been extracted and are ready for us to download. We therefore click Download, which begins the download process. Once downloaded, we click the upward pointing arrow, which inverts, displaying a menu, from which we select the option to show in folder. There are now two items in our folder. One is the original RAW file, whilst the other is a zip file, which is a product of the conversion process. To avoid any confusion, as we no longer need the file with the RAR extension, we select it, right click, and select the option to delete. We then confirm our intention to permanently delete the file. The remaining item is a zip file, containing three further files. Unlike the RAW file, Windows 10 natively supports zip files, so when we double click, the zip file opens, containing a single folder, which we open to reveal our mouse driver files. Returning to our downloaded zip file, we can permanently extract the files contained within by simply right-clicking on the zip file, and from the menu which appears, selecting the option to extract all. We then simply select the destination folder, which will receive the extracted files, and in this instance, we accept the default location within our downloads folder. With the destination set, we click extract. The files are then extracted from the zip, and the extracted folder is automatically opened for us. We open the extracted directory, where we find our three driver files. Our downloads folder now contains two items, namely the downloaded zip file and the uncompressed file folder. Again, to avoid confusion, we select the zip file and right click before selecting the option to delete and affirming our intention by clicking yes at the confirmation dialog. We now have a single uncompressed directory containing our three driver files. Of course, using a web application requires an internet connection and may be subject to upload size constraints as well as privacy considerations. It may therefore be preferable to install an application which performs the conversion on your local machine. Our second method uses 7-Zip Portable, a downloaded application. As a portable app, this software is temporarily installed on your system and can be removed simply by deleting it. To obtain the app, we head to the link shown on screen now and in the written description accompanying this video. The download page links the advantages of the portable app, noting that it doesn't require permanent installation under Windows. We click the large link to download from portableapps.com. The download begins, and upon completion, we click to run. We are invited to select a language for the installation from the drop-down, and we accept the default of British English before clicking OK. We simply click Next to continue with the following screen. 
We now select the destination folder for the installation. We have entirely free choice for the installation here, and as it's temporary, the installed software can be deleted with relative ease. For that reason, we are happy to run the software directly from our downloads folder, so we accept the default by clicking install. The installation completes quickly, and we tick run 7-zip portable to immediately run the software upon clicking finish. After the startup logo disappears, we are presented with the main interface. We now need to navigate to our downloaded RAR file. We therefore double click through computer, then our C drive, followed by the users directory, our personal user account, and finally our downloads folder, wherein we find the downloaded RAR file named Red Dragon after the mouse whose drivers it contains. With the RAR file selected, we click extract, and the extraction dialog appears. The main task here is to specify an appropriate extraction directory, and we happily accept the default, which will return the extracted files to our downloads directory. With the extraction complete, we see an additional file folder has been added to our downloads folder, containing the extracted files. We close 7-zip portable and navigate to our downloads folder. In addition to the original RAR file, we now see a file folder which we can open. Inside we find our three extracted files, which we can now use. Returning to our downloads folder, we can now delete the 7-zip portable installer file, as we no longer require it. Having selected it, we right click and select the option to delete, before again confirming our intention. With the installer app now deleted, we can easily rerun 7-zip portable at any time, by opening the 7-zip portable directory, selecting the 7-zip portable app, and running it returns us to the main interface. The app can remain in this directory, and can be launched as needed. Unlike conventionally installed apps which need to be specifically uninstalled, a portable app is very easily removed from the system. In this instance, we simply select the main 7-zip portable directory in our downloads folder, right click and select the option to delete, confirming where necessary. With that, the software is gone. If necessary, it can be re-downloaded and reinstalled wherever required. Our third method again uses 7-zip, but this time fully installs the application and integrates it into the file system. We head to the link shown on screen now, and in the written description accompanying this video. There are choices at this screen, and we can select an advanced alpha version, or the slightly safer mainstream release. There are also 32 and 64-bit versions available. Most modern machines will use the 64-bit version, although, should you need to check your system, you can follow the instructions in our Check Your PC Specs tutorial, also linked in the written description. The download begins, and once concluded, we click to run. User account control interjects to request our permission, and we click yes to provide it. We are now required to provide a destination location for the installation, and novice users can simply click install to accept the default here. Unlike the portable solution, this will be a permanent installation, so we modify the destination folder to fit our organised structure. We then click install, commencing the installation process. Once installed, we click the start button and run 7-zip file manager. We return to the familiar interface, identical to that used in the portable version and already discussed, and we could simply use this version in the same way. However, because the software is installed, it integrates more closely with the file system, which we see when we open our downloads folder. Now when we right click our RAR file, we see that a 7-zip entry has been added to the context menu. Following that menu to the right, we see a large selection of file handling options. We select extract here, which directly extracts the files to our downloads folder, making them immediately ready for use. Given this close integration with the file system, should you subsequently wish to uninstall 7-zip, you'll need to perform a full uninstallation using Windows 10's Apps and Features options. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.